everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new 6 inch Batman Classic TV Series 3 pack from Mattel Toys. Now, this set is a Toys R Us exclusive and it features figures of Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. It comes packaged in a similar style of packaging we've seen with the other figures in this line. So, we've got that kind of Gotham cityscape done with kind of orange and purple type colors. Uh, it's window box packaging, so all three figures are clearly displayed. It's kind of a curvature uh, packaging, so you've got Batman in the middle and then Robin off to one side and Batgirl on the other side. We've got the Batman Classic logo TV series above Batgirl, and it tells us uh, Batman, Robin, and Batgirl for adult collectors. On the other side with Robin, it says Holy Return from Oblivion Batman, and it also tells us that there are collector cards included in the set. On the back of the packaging, we've got some nice artwork featuring Batman and Robin in the Batmobile and Batgirl on her motorcycle. And then down below that, it says same bat time, same bat channel featuring, and then it shows all the figures that have been released in the six inch line. And then off to the side, we've got a little kind of uh, bio for Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. Okay, so let's get these figures open and take a look at what's okay, inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging. Now each figure comes with a display base, a figure stand, and then a card back card that features um, basically the characters on one side and they all kind of fit together to form a, a diorama piece. So you got Batgirl, Batman, and, and Robin. Or you can flip them around and I'm just going to turn them around. But you can also have the kind of the cityscape, the Gotham cityscape with the bat signal in the back if you'd rather have, have that displayed on your stands. And the, and the card backs just uh, slide into the figure stands. So, um, you know, it's, we've seen this with the other figures in the line. So, you know, if you're familiar, if you have any of the other f figures, then you should be familiar with this. And so it's a nice way to display the figures. And I like how they kind of all fit together to form, uh, you know, kind of a, a an either the cityscape or just the, the three characters running together. Okay, so we're going to take a closer look at the Batgirl figure. And this is the figure I'm going to primarily focus on with this review since I'm assuming that's what most of you are picking this set up for. If you, you know, the Batman and the Robin figures are pretty much the same figures we've already gotten in this line, which have been out for some time and we've posted reviews of on the site before. So with the Batgirl figure, I think Mattel did an okay job. I, I, you know, I, I think the face sculpt really doesn't strike me as Yvonne Craig, but at the same time, it doesn't look bad either. So I'm not too, you know, too unhappy with the face sculpt on this one. Again, I don't think it really looks that much like Yvonne Craig, but, but I don't think it looks bad either. And I like, you know, the hair, and they've given some wash work on the hair to give it some added texture. I do think that the purple that they've used on the hood and her gloves um, are a little bit too bright of a purple. I, I looked at some pictures online and I, it doesn't look like it should be this much different from the purple on the rest of the costume. It definitely stands out a bit. Also, the cape, which is a soft goods cape like we've seen with the other uh, figures in this line, I don't really like how they've shaped it so it's almost like the cape is almost like with her, you know, she's supposed to have her arms up like in a gliding type pose. That's almost how they've posed the cape. I would have liked to seen the cape kind of just drop down more on her back. You can kind of like fold it in and stuff if you want to try and, and, and mimic that look. But for the most part, it kind of just, the cape just kind of pops out. And so I don't really like that too much. There's a little bit of bleeding of the purple coming through on the on utility belt. Not on the pouches, but on the parts of the belt between the pouches. Nothing too major there. I do like the belt. I think they've done a nice job with the pouches and the bat symbol on her, on her buckle. I like the bat symbol on her chest. Now with the darker purples, they you can tell they've tried to mix in some kind of glitter type paint. You know, in the TV series, her costume was very glittery, but it really doesn't stand out very well on the figure. So it really doesn't capture that kind of glitter effect that the costume on, on the TV series had, in my opinion. Okay, so the figure stands at just about six inches exactly if you count to the tip of her ears. She is... Not as tall as the Batman figure. So you can see the Adam West Batman figure is a bit taller. She is a little bit taller than the Robin figure. 
So the scale seems to be pretty good for the most part. And just for one more comparison, here she is next to the uh, 66 Catwoman figure that Mattel did. And Batgirl is a little bit shorter than, uh, than Catwoman. So for articulation, the head's on a ball joint so she can look left and right. Even with the hair, which is a hard plastic, it doesn't really limit her turning her head. She does not have any up or down movement with the head though, it's just on a ball joint. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so she can get her arm all the way out. And she's got good rotation at the arm, even with the cape. It's a soft goods cape so it doesn't really limit her arm movement at all. She has a bicep swivel. Single hinged elbow so she can bend her elbow about that much. And then she has the swivel at the wrists, but no hinges on the wrists. Midsection joint, so she's got a swivel at the midsection, no ab crunch though, no waist swivel. Legs are attached with that kind of T crotch with the hinges on the side type design that we see with most of the Mattel figures. She can do the splits good, she can get her leg forward good, and she can do her leg back pretty good. She's got a thigh swivel, she's got a single hinged knee so she can bend her knee about that much, and then she has hinges on the feet so she's got good up or down movement with the feet, but there's no swivel or, and there's no ankle pivot. And then two peg holes on the bottom of her feet. Real quick, here's a comparison of the first Batman figure released in this line and the three pack Batman. You can see they're basically identical, there's no real difference between the two figures. Paint applications and everything are the same. Real quick, here's a look at the Robin figure from the three pack. Now, I don't have the, the previous Robin released in this line, but I'm pretty sure they're identical as well. Um, paint applications are pretty decent, though a little bit of, you can see kind of some green coming through on his red on his tunic, but not, not anything major. He's got the soft goods cape, and I, I like how the cape looks on this one for the most part. And then, again, he's got a little bit on mine at least. It looks like some on his skin for his uh, legs. Little can see a little bit of green coming through. So, it, not too major, but you can, if you look at it closely, notice that. I don't know if that was the same way on the on the previously released figure, or if it's just with, with this, or, or, or just with my figure in particular. But, but just wanted to point that out. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, when it comes down to it, I would say if you don't already have the Batman and the Robin figure, or maybe you have Batman but you didn't get Robin, then it's not a bad set. You know, the Batgirl figure is pretty good. It's not perfect. Definitely the head sculpt doesn't really look like Yvonne Craig to me, but I think it's a pretty nice looking figure overall. It kind of sucks if you already have Batman and Robin that you have to buy those figures again in order to get Batgirl. Hopefully, if that's the case, if you already have the Batman Robin, hopefully you were able to pick up the, the single release of Batgirl through the Comic-Con exclusive. But, as I said, if you don't have the other two figures already, then, then this is a pretty nice set overall. Now, I think Mattel is pretty much winding down this line. I don't, other than a few other Batman exclusives, like there's the Batman figure with the Bat computer, which is out now as well. And then I think they're re-releasing the Batmobile with Batman and Robin in it. But unfortunately, for the most part, I think this is pretty much going to be it. Uh, I don't know that for 100% sure, but I haven't really heard anything more about this line. It would have been nice if we had seen more villains released in the line. I definitely think, you know, that was one of the cool things about the show, all the villains. You know, and they were kind of weird looking for the most part. But, you know, I definitely think it would have been a nice line if we had seen more villains in it. But as it is, as I said, if you don't already have Batman and Robin, then I think this is not a bad set to, to get all three figures. And it is out now. You can get it at ToysRUs.com and it's showing up at their physical stores as well. So we'll have a full gallery of images for this uh, set over at ToyNewsEye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.